in order to even have the idea that one could be enlightened, one needs to see someone who has been enlightened. Over more than 1,500 years now, Tibet has played a major, major role in influencing the art of uh, half of Asia. It's not always who we think who will carry forth a tradition. I'm carrying forth a gift that came to me from the Tibetans. Sometimes it's a Western woman whose love and devotion to the Tibetan culture and Tibetan Buddhism is her journey to awakening. For us, painting and sculpture are the, the two finest forms of art. But for Tibetans, applique and embroidery are an even higher art. Fabric tonka is a silk embroidered and appliqued art form in Tibetan Buddhism. Fabric tonka is so rare that in some places it is only seen once a year and then for only a few hours. It's a secular profession. Uh, people think that they're all lamas, usually not. They're usually lay people. Trained in Dharamsala, India for nine years, Leslie Rinchen Wangmo is one of the few female fabric tonka makers in the world and one of the only makers in the West. Through this film, we see her produce a tanka of the female Buddha, Tara. Well, I'd never seen a fabric tanka until I saw Leslie's work. She does make a really good applique tanka. Leslie is a woman who is bringing the gift of fabric tanka to our culture. In a sense, Leslie is like Tara. She became a master of a male tradition, and we see fabric tanka through feminine eyes. The world is going to continually confront us in ways that make us um, doubt our own possibilities and doubt ourselves. And that's the greatest danger to spiritual practice. We need to have great confidence and great determination. Then it's the greatest gift you can give the world. And that's what a being such as Tara represents. And Tara is activating that which we know deepest in ourselves and helping us return to ourselves.